Yeah, that's not good. No. <laughs> that's a bad day at the tow truck office. Dang it. All righty, guys. Getting ready for the off-road wrecker games. A few little things to do with the truck. This here video is about a bunch of the work this truck's done over the years that I've never shared on YouTube or social media or any of those platforms. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. Here you go. We'll just get right into it and we'll see you at the Off-Road Wrecker Games. While you're out here in the desert, towing people's broken junk out. Dude lost a wheel on the Jeep. Yep, it's broke. Don't forget to stop and pet the spider. And it looks like it's got itself a burrow or a horse or something. Alrighty, got a couple things going on in the shop today. I'm gonna make a jack. Actually, I'm gonna make two jacks for my uh, tow truck. And uh, these are mechanical jacks. I like the way these things work, but uh, this, is, uh, this is just a scissor jack out of a car. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a little piece of pipe here. We're going to put that pipe on top. We may make a little larger base for the bottom, but uh, we're going to weld the hex to this one, just like this one has, so that you can use an impact to run it up and down. Those make the best jacks for your off-road vehicle. First of all, they're mechanical, so they never fail. Uh, you can wind them with a ratchet. Um, this is one I've built a long time ago out of a bottle jack and uh, I'll show you real quick how this thing works. You can actually take an impact or you can make yourself a tool to run the thing. It's pretty hard to get a jack to go up that high hydraulically. I mean that thing just, that's a 12 inch stroke on that jack. Plus it's small and it's compact so it's easy to store. Lightweight. So if you got a bold bottle jack you just weld a hex nut to it like so. And uh, I like the scissor jacks because they go up pretty tall um, and they've got pretty good power from about 50% up down low they don't have much lift power but from 50% up they'll lift anything and as they get closer to the top they'll obviously lift more if you have a pair of them on your Jeep you know I pulled the tire off the rim on the tow truck and I was able to actually lift it up with a scissor jack and put the tire back on and that's a 44 inch tire so pretty cool I'll show you how yeah, that's not good. No, that's a bad day at the tow truck office. Dang it. Oh, darn it. You got the air with you? Yeah. Not very much. We're going to need it. Thank goodness the inside beat's still on. Yeah, just roll it back and forth, Jimmy, and saw some dirt under it. There you go. It's coming. Too bad you have it. Easy there, Jimmy. Easy there. Pull on that tire, Jimmy. Let's see if we can get it up on here. You gotta get it up on. We're a long ways from on. The bottom's gotta come out. We're closer. Yeah, I, it might be coming. Yeah, I think it's coming. Okay. Lucky! <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple things going on with the wrecker. Nothing major. Cleaned the air filter. Um, oh, changed the oil filter. Changed the oil. So, hookups for the onboard arc welder right there with the switches. Um, Chinese winch. First time I used it, it quit, so we're working on that. 
Uh, Got to have throttle control for the welder. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, back here. I decided I didn't like the old rotten airbags, so I put some new airbags in. And I think that's about it. Oh, so the switches. So this is just something that I've always wanted to do, and why not take the time and do it right now? These are the switches that control the winch. This is the lights. Um, this is the air compressor. That one's fine, that one's fine. This switch, I want one, I want to control inside the cab and I want to control on the other side of the truck so that I can control the winch from three different locations. Um, this is a Bellevue winch and I really like this winch so I don't really care if it has a wireless remote per se. Um, I like the brake and the free spool on this. It's just a just a really cool old school design. Plus it has a lot of power. I, I've never hit anything I couldn't lift with that. I've never actually got it to stop. So I like that winch on there for lifting motors and different things. Um, otherwise everything's ready. Like fuel filter, oil change. So we'll get working on putting these switches in. Got them ready to go here. And uh, off to the record games. Trying to wire the uh, welder and my power cord, but it don't seem to be working. That's one of uh, about a hundred things down. So we'll get on the other ninety-nine. And it's just another new day in the shop. Working on the wrecker, still. Seems like these old trucks, they just, all you do is work on them. Anyway, working on the seat. We got these little tabs on this seat. And I've done these seats in a lot of these trucks. Um, problem I'm having here is one of my hooks, these little hooks that they hang on is ripped out of the cab, so. I just got a little piece of metal I'm going to try to weld in there. I don't know if it's going to allow the thing to hook back in right, but we're going to give it a try. This is the seat that I've been running. It's just a couple of Rhino seats bolted to a piece of plywood. The sun has kind of done a number on the seats, obviously because it just sits out in the sun and bakes all year. So I'll probably leave that seat in it when it's sitting outside, but for the off-road wrecker games, we want this plush diamond tuck brown cushy seat so get this thing welded up in here and see what we can do Just got a couple of uh, gifts from Industrial Injection. <laughs> Check this out. I love this. It's my favorite shirt. Make diesel $1.99 again. Full tanks matter. You can go to industrialinjection.com and get you some of that. Oh yeah. We got stickers. Stickers for days. Look at that. Oh, look at that, some uh, tow rope action. Thanks for all the comments on towing or driving the truck. A lot of you said I should tow it with the mini semi truck. However, the mini semi truck is not ready. I'm too far away from having that ready to go that far towing this and the Jeep. So what I've decided to do is I'm driving this truck, flat towing my Jeep, and it's gonna be a good time, so.
This is the stuff right here. Max MPG. This is this is going to be our secret weapon to the tow truck Olympics. We're going to use this going there because we're driving the truck, and we're going to use it during the event for winning. You use Max MPG from Industrial, you are winning. We're going to dump some of that in right now. It's got this little uh, this little mixer thing, so you can uh, basically pre-fill this little upper chamber. There you go. Yeah, see, it's got marks on there. Half an ounce, full ounce. Pre-measured. So yeah, if you got a diesel truck, you need to put this in. This will help lubricate your pump and injectors and keep you from having to buy all those expensive parts. Keep your diesel running. So, Max MPG for the win. What about my Herbie? Yeah, you can put that in Herbie. Here, here's your bottle for Herbie. There's a Herbie bottle. Thanks. Uh -huh. You ready to go tear it up? Go tear up Sandalo, huh? In the tow truck? Got it. Give a big shout out to Industrial Injection Diesel Performance. They're sponsoring me for this uh, adventure. And, uh, yeah, we're the only diesel showing up to a gas-powered event. So, there's one thing that uh, most gas mechanics and people will never understand, and that is the uh, total performance of a diesel engine. It is honestly double that of a gas motor. And once you finally figure that out, yeah, diesel is uh, the heavy, the heavy option. Look at that buck sticker right there, huh? Got Jimmy over here helping me unload junk today. Yeah, we're gonna do this in the wind. This ought to be entertaining. Well, it picked it up. Yeah. All we gotta do is drive out from under it. Careful up there, Jimmy. We're twisted pretty bad. Might spin. Might drop a little. More yard art. New yard art. Tomator has never had roller up windows. These windows have never moved. I've never had these door panels off. I don't know what it looks like in here, but we're gonna try to make these windows go up and down. We might have to put glass in it, but let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a window. There's a window there. Not much of one, but that's broke. Ding, ding. Let's see what happens here. And these old doors are rough. I don't know if we'll be able to make these windows go up and down or not. Yeah, that one's strummed. Yeah, it's strummed. Strum, strummed. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be a challenge. Anyway, let's go out here and look at these doors. I got another set of doors out here. Maybe there's some, maybe there's some good parts we can use. Well, I built about uh, four of these old trucks and I saved the doors because they have good parts. Well, some of them. That one don't seem to have any. Oh, there we go. There's a window. Oh, look at that. It's even got patina on it. Ooh, this door has good glass. This door has a window in it. It's a passenger door. I think so. 
I think it's great. Let's see if it'll clean up. This is four aught steel wool. Take that to it first. Still a little dirty. We got a little more work to do on it. Might have to take a razor blade to it and get some of that off. But it'll work. Because it's looking like maybe we're going to get a little rain, maybe a little snow. I don't have a heater. I mean, the only one probably going to be comfortable in his element there is uh, Eric from BSF because uh, he's coming from Minnesota and I uh, don't look good there right now. He has to plow every day just to get out of his shop. Snow blows in, drifts in. Ugh. That'll work. Now we gotta figure out this regulator. See if we can get it out of there and then get the window out. That's a little rotted, a little cankered. Oh yeah, the chances of those coming out are not very good. Chances of that coming out is pretty good though. But we will replace this felt that goes around here. To dig all that out. Clean all this out. This door's kind of bent right here. Kind of bad, but I don't think we'll try to straighten it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get the torch and heat that. I do have a problem here though. The inside latch has never worked on this side. Oh, it's missing. It's gone. This one works. But uh this is broken inside. The piece that pulls that is gone. So maybe I can take that out of the other door and make that work. I don't know. If not, I'll just have to roll the window down, use the outside door handle. I want to know your predictions for the off-road record games and I won't be offended by the comments. So speak your mind. I want to know who of the five people, Rory, Matt, Paul, Eric from BSF or myself, who is going to come in and where put us in numbers and put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. There's no holes. A little in-depth information about this old truck. I bought it on eBay. I bid $200 on it and won it. And it was in the Dalles, Oregon. It was 1,300 miles from here. Wow, this isn't even window felt. This is like... This is like the welting you put on your hood. And they just glued that in there. So I was all excited to go get this thing. And the guy messaged me and he says, we have a track hoe here, we can load it. It does not roll. However, it was on tires, but they were all locked up. It had been sitting up there in the woods for so long that everything was seized up. So I went and got it. I, it was like 2007. In 2008, I started building it into this truck, swapped it onto the first gen Dodge. Then I started doing research on these old trucks because everybody thought it was a power wagon and I had to keep correcting them, no, it's a Chevrolet. So I started doing research on it and the G506 Chevrolet was actually commissioned before the US was involved in World War II. 
and the trucks were being built to send to Russia to basically help Russia dismount their horse-drawn army from World War I. So they were trying to hold off a German invasion over there and they were using these trucks. Well, this truck, the reason it's in the United States is because it ended up on the Alcan Highway during 1942 to 44. So this truck actually helped haul things in and it helped build the Alcan Highway. Later on, it was painted yellow. That was what the military did when they decommissioned these trucks. So they painted it yellow over the green. And uh, it was sold at a basically a public auction and somebody bought it and made a log skidder out of it and it spent the rest of its time until I got it in Oregon skidding logs until it quit running and basically succumbed to Oregon's moisture. But uh, yeah, pretty cool to think this thing has uh, almost a hundred years of history and actually built, uh, helped build the Alcan Highway and you know this truck could probably tell a hell of a story if it could. So I can't get these rusty bolts out. I'm gonna try to heat them up here and see if they'll uh, let loose. Okay, that's one way to do it. It's not the right way to do it, but that's one way to do it. Oh yeah, look at the teeth. They're all strummed off right there. Completely strummerated. So now we're getting started on the new ones. Yeah, they're new. They're 1946, but they're new. Took the driver's door panel off. Did you really? What does that mean? Windows. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Windows! So he's tired of freezing. Windows! <laughs> Every time we go out, Jimmy's like, I can bring enough clothing. <laughs> but yeah, we're close. Cool how those panels come off, huh? That is awesome. So I got, I'm shocked you got those off. Yeah, me too. So in World War II, they made these things so you could just work on them, you know? These panels are removable, but to get the broken bolts out was quite a quite a feat. These bolts, you just wing bolts them back on. They made them so you could take them off so you could work on the truck in the field. So that's kind of cool that I've got those working now because I can get in here. Because the young kids could climb up on the tire with like one hop. Yeah. We're just putting a little brass on this here spring so that we can put it back in the regulator. Hopefully it'll work. I like brass. Brass is my favorite. Now what we got to do is wire wheel this a little. That ought to work. Now all we need is oil. This is 90 weight gear oil. Sometimes it's 250 weight depending on summer or winter. Bunch down in there. Put a whole bunch in there. And then we'll grease that when we're done too. And then we drip it all over the shop. We roll it up and down a couple of times. Pinch our fingers. One of these days, if I can have Merlin stand still long enough, I'm going to have him empty his pocket so you can see what he carries around in there. All day, every day. See, we welded that spring and made it work. what happened to all the screws Jimmy you're able to break that with a screwdriver yep that's impressive pretty good huh yeah pretty very good it's not even stripped not even a little snip
cost you. We need some fuzzies in there. Whoa, that's <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Only took 13 years. <laughs> 13 years to put <laughs> windows in the old tow truck. We don't need those here in Arizona. So yeah, the right. other window's not broken. Really? I have one more of these in the metal frame that's oh, not wow. broken. Perfect. They've been laying out back for probably 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'll get the felts and fuzzies in there and then we'll move over and do the other door and uh, we'll be warm at the Wrecker Games. It's the first time it's ever had windows in since I've owned it. This is gonna be so nice when it's snowing at the Wrecker Games and I can go, hey, is it cold out there? Hey, Jimmy, you're spotting me. I like that. And work good. I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago. It's kind of nice having windows. How's that, how's that there roll up window? Slick. Super nice. Got new fuzzies in it. Now I can just shut you out. We got a message from Cousin Paul. What is he up to? Let's see what he's got going. This is what you're supposed to do the week before the tow truck Olympics. <laughs> Tear apart. Tear all your hydraulic winches out and oh go my. electric because the oh hydraulic winches are so slow, it won't even work. This so there, what is today? Tuesday. How many days we got? Eight. We have eight days. So eight days, he still don't even have a boom that lifts the car. These guys are one of those people that without a deadline, they wouldn't get nothing done, would they? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what do we got to do? Oh, we're going to go for comfort. We're going to get heated seats and windows in. That's right. Because all this works. That's right. Oh, boy. Cousin Paul. That's awesome.